Hello everyone and welcome to Muse for You. This is John, your Adobe Muse instructor. And uh, in this video, I'm going to be recreating a particular idea that I found on, on a website. Uh, one thing I like to do is search for, for websites and seeing if I can get that effect in Adobe Muse. Um, so I go to, you know, um, A-W-W-W-A-R-D-S, so like awards with three W's dot com. And basically, you can check out like the different sites of the day and just, you know, to get inspiration for uh, web design. Uh, one website that caught my eye was uh, this uh, andy-wolf.at slash aw. And it's a pretty cool effect. The image stays in place. Then we have the slanted panel coming in. And then it slants again at the bottom. And then we have another image that stays in place as you scroll. Then some images, another image, and some more images, and then another image in the background. So in this video, I'm going to recreate this effect uh, with my own images and um, kind of my own slant here. All right, so how, I, how I'm going to start recreating this is I'm going to go to Adobe Illustrator. Um, if you don't have Illustrator, you might be able to use another program. Uh, I think there's there's some free versions uh, that are similar to Illustrator out there. Uh, I forget the name of one right now, but if I remember, I'll let you know. Um, so I'm opening up Illustrator, and I'm going to create a 2,000 by 2,000 um, square here. And then I'm going to go to my square tool, and I'm going to create a square that fits pretty much, uh, yeah, pretty much the whole, the whole artboard that I have here, okay? And we don't want a stroke on it, so we're just gonna take off the stroke. And now what I wanna do is take these anchor points and I'm just going to slant the top here, uh, like so, and I'll slant the bottom let's see which way do I want to slant the bottom so that's going that way so I want to slant the bottom yeah this way yeah yeah like that so now I have two slants there and that's pretty much it um, and I could even if I wanted to get more creative I could add more angles to this and kind of create a, a more interesting or a different type of panel this is actually going to be the panel that I'm going to use in Adobe Muse. Uh, so now I go to File, Save uh, for Web. You can see we have that slant right there. And if we look in the bottom, we have a slant here. And now I click uh, Save. And let me just create a folder. Uh, Skillshare. And uh, yeah, we'll go here. Uh, the folder, okay, uh, slanting panel effect, <laughs> all right, and then I'm going to call this panel one, all right, so there's our panel, now if I go back to Adobe Muse, I'm going to open up Adobe Muse, and I'm going to go to file, new site, click OK, go to my home page, the first thing I want to do here is create a rectangle, that's, uh, I'm just going to create it 900 uh, pixels in height and 100% width. So we've got a full width uh, image that stretches with the browser width. And I'm going to fill this. I'm going to add an image. Um, let's see. Images. Image. And I'm just going to select one of these images here. I got these images from Unsplash. They're 100% royalty free. You can use them for anything you'd like. And I'm going to select, uh, let's see, uh, we'll select, um, yeah, let's see, yeah, this mountain here. All right, so then we got that mountain. I'm going to scale to, to fill, and I'm just going to center it there. All right, so there we go. That's our mountain. Now, the next thing we want to do is create another rectangle. Again, 100% width. And we'll just put it right here. And we want to fill this rectangle with um, 
the panel let's see that I saved where did I save it uh, yes slanting panel effect panel one and we want to scale to fill and we can center it there all right so and then we need to go to the fill of this panel and make it none all right so we did that and the next thing we want to do is take this image and put it behind the panel so we go to our layers and we just drag this rectangle below this other rectangle all right okay yeah I can I know why that didn't work and then should work there uh, fill scale to fill huh um, oh okay there we go sorry yeah so um, yeah, basically, you want to make sure that the white panel is on top. I think I reversed it for some reason, but basically, this image needs to be underneath uh, this this panel here or this rectangle. And now we want to take the stroke off this rectangle here. And there we go. We have that nice slant. And now we want to create um, the other thing I want to mention is that when you fill this rectangle with that panel that we created in Adobe Illustrator, you want to make sure that the position is at the top. And I'll show you why in a second. So now I'm going to Command C on my Mac, copy this rectangle with the panel in it, paste it again, and I can just drag this panel down a little bit more. And uh, I'm going to go to Fill and position it to the bottom. Now you can't see it because it's all white, but if I make the browser fill like uh, orange, you can see we have a slant here at the bottom. And the way I did that is, you know, I went to the Fill and I positioned it at the bottom so we get the bottom part of the panel. If I do that, we get the top part and you see it doesn't really make sense. But if I do that, the bottom part, I get the bottom part of the panel. And I can actually make this panel even bigger and still retain the white because since I created a 2000 by 2000 uh, panel, there's a lot of white space that I can work with and really um, get you know, a really nice long panel that slants at the, at the top and at the bottom. So now what I'm going to do is copy this image here. And as you can see, it's on top of the panel. So what I do is I take this rectangle here. We can see it's selected in the layers panel and just bring it all the way to the bottom. And boom, it's underneath the white panel. And I just go to fill, go to the image. And let's, uh, let's pick another image. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we could even do another mountain kind of image um, yeah shit, this one all right cool scale to fill all right let's get a little more let's do uh maybe this camera here yeah cool all right and I'll take this orange off here off of the browser to make it white now if I hit command shift e um, we can see we have those slants and we have to kind of fix this here. But if you noticed in that other website that I'm using as an example, the images stay in place and the panel just scrolls. The way to do that is you just select the image, you go to fill, go to scroll, just click motion and set all of this to zero. Now the image will not move. And the same with this one, fill, scroll, motion, set it to zero and there we go. And now if I preview it, the image stays in place and we have um, that. We can see it breaks a little bit here. All that means is that we need to make the image a little bit bigger here and a little bit bigger here so that we get the whole kind of slant. There we go. Cool. That's a pretty cool effect. The images stay in place and we get this nice slanting panel. You can pretty much create any type of panel you want here and uh, you know you can add you know some text and I can say slanting panels Let's see all right I'm right under the 10 minutes which is good and so let's see uh, let me pick a web font um, it will pick that 72 uh, let's pick a kind of a better font yeah, uh, regular, yeah, that's fine for now. All right, let's 
planting panels. Okay. We'll center this. So basically you can put anything in this panel here in the middle. And you can see we have some text here, slanting panels, and the next image appears. So again, it's a really cool effect. As you can see, it's a similar effect to this. They have the slanting panels, and they have things in the panels, and then the images that change as you scroll. So basically, I could recreate this whole website in Adobe Muse. Um, I'm not going to because I just wanted to use it as an example. And, you know, pretty much that's it. This is the example that we have here. But yeah, you can do a lot of really creative things with this effect. And, you know, with Illustrator, you can create, like, different angles to the panels and uh, different things like that. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.